Millions of taxpayer dollars were sent to Dade Phelan's company. It's February 16th, 2024, and these are your headlines. A brand new investigative report up at texasscorecard.com from Robert Montoya and Kristen Stanchu reveals that state taxpayers, through the Department of Health and Human Services, paid millions of dollars in rent to a company, of which the Speaker of the Texas House, Dade Phelan, is a manager and director. So the Phelan family is in the real estate business. A March 2022 Southeast Texas Refined article called them, quote, one of the founding families of Southeast Texas commercial real estate. The article contains a photo of Mark, Lan, and Dade Phelan. And a search found the speaker himself as well as M.A. Lan Phelan, Michael Phelan, and Mark Phelan, all family members, on the website of Phelan Investments. Located in Beaumont, Texas, this company describes itself as a private, fourth-generation diversified investment firm that focuses on, quote, the development and operation of investment real estate, oil and gas properties, and other equity investments. Included as part of their real estate portfolio are shopping centers, apartments, office buildings, other commercial properties. 3105 Executive LLC is another feeling company. A 2023 public information report from the Comptroller report reports that Dade Phelan is a manager and director alongside M.A. Phelan, M.A. Phelan II, Mark Phelan, and Michael A. Phelan. Through a Public Information Act request, Texas Scorecard obtained multiple Texas Health and Human Services Commission purchase orders that show lease payments to 3105 Executive LLC. One of the purchase orders identifies 3105 Executive as in the care of Phelan Investments. And a search of Phelan Investment Properties found a building for warehouse or office use at 3105 Executive Boulevard in Beaumont, Texas. A search of that address confirmed that Texas Health and Human Services has an office at this property. All in all, $2.3 million in state taxpayer money was paid from 2017 to 2023. Another investigation, this time released by Accuracy and Media, reveals how Texas universities are attempting to skirt a state law that bans diversity, equity, and inclusion policies in higher education. You thought they were gone, well, not quite. Accuracy and Media is an organization that empowers individuals to hold journalists, public officials, and private officials accountable. Well, they released an undercover investigation showing multiple university officials in Texas saying they will continue DEI work Oh, just under new names, though. Senate Bill 17, which took effect at the beginning of this year, effectively prohibits universities from hiring employees to, quote, perform the duties of a DEI office and is supposed to block any promotion of such policies, training, or activities designed or implemented in reference to race, color, or ethnicity. Despite the law being in effect, multiple uni universities across the state have been attempting to circumvent the law. At the University of Texas at Tyler, the director of student belonging told Ames undercover investigator that the university has had to change the name of its DEI department three times. She bragged that they can still do the DEI work, but that they just have to be, quote, creative. Well, it's not the only place. Similarly, the director of underserved students at the University of North Texas in Dallas told the investigator that while the DEI office has been dissolved, the university is just reclassifying the work under the word belonging. He added that their diversity inclusion task force has been renamed the Belonging Task Force. At Tarleton State University, administrators have hidden their DEI initiatives under the First Generation Initiative. Academic coordinator Marcus Brown said that the First Generation Initiative is already working with professors to train and bring DEI principles to students. It list goes on. At Texas Tech University, their DEI department's now being housed under the name Campus Access and Engagement. The University of Houston has also been able to sneak by the DEI law by passing down its Lavender Graduation Ceremony. That's a special graduation ceremony for LGBT students. They pass it down to one of its LGBT organizations, while faculty can still guide and advise those groups. AIM President Adam Gillette told Texas Scorecard that DEI needs to be removed from all campuses and administrators attempting to circumvent the law must be held accountable. Are you worried about your kid's future? You should be. I'm Charles Blaine with Texas Tomorrow. This is a show where we're gonna talk about the issues and the people that are pushing the policies that concern your family, your home, and your kids. Catch Texas Tomorrow every Thursday.
Last up, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has announced his endorsement of four candidates for seats in the Texas House. These four candidates have also been endorsed by Governor Greg Abbott. In a statement yesterday, Patrick said, I'm proud to join Governor Abbott in endorsing these fine candidates for Texas House. I believe the Texas House needs new leadership and a fresh crop of new members. These four candidates all bring their unique talents and skills to help prepare the Texas House. The candidates that Patrick endorsed include Janice Holt, who's challenging State Representative Ernest Bales in House District 18, Helen Kerwin, who's challenging State Representative Dwayne Burns, that's in House District 58, Alan Schoolcraft, who's challenging Representative John Kempel in House District 44, and Caroline Fairley, who's running for an open House District 87 seat led by, uh, left by State Representative For Price up in Amarillo. All of the incumbents in this list above voted against Abbott's school choice package. Patrick first announced his endorsement of Helen Kerwin back in January. Notably, it was the first endorsement by Patrick this year against a sitting member of the Texas House. He had previously said he generally does not get involved in House races. For more of today's stories, head to texasscorecard.com.